All right, hello everybody. Welcome back. This is Miss Anderson. Um, this is your first focus lesson for the week. And before you come to this video, you should have watched Sid the Seed on YouTube, the read aloud. Um, so if you haven't watched that yet, please pause this video and go watch that first because we're going to be talking about it right now. All right, so if you have watched Sid the Seed, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about it first before we get started on our activity. Um, first, I wanted to talk to you about the characters in the story. Do you remember any of the characters in the story? <gasps> That's right, we had Sid. Now, do you remember what the spider's name was? That's right, it was Pip. And do you remember his other friend, the caterpillar? <gasps> That's right, her name is Kim. Now, if you remember, as both of those animals are the spider and the caterpillar, they grow up and they move on. Sid is feeling kind of sad because he has not grown. Um, so in the story, you see that he takes a big gulp of water and he gets the sunlight and he starts to grow into an adult plant. And we're going to kind of talk about the way plants grow today. So I want you to go ahead and grab a piece of paper. I labeled it plant life cycle and if you want to you can draw this with me you're also gonna have an, um, a cutting and gluing activity afterwards for you to do but I thought it'd be fun if you wanted to to draw it with me all right so first in a plant life cycle every plant starts with a little does anybody remember what that's called that's right it's a seed S E seed. Okay, and I'm going to use my brown marker to color it in. Kind of looks like black, but that's right. Okay, now after a seed is planted in the soil and it gets everything that it needs, it's going to start germinating. Can you say that word? Germinate. Germinate is when a seed is in that soil and they are starting to kind of have some roots come out. It's really when they're starting to really start to grow. And I'm going to write that word here. Germin. Oh, hold on one second. Germinate. I was looking up um really what germinate meant so i could tell you a little better and really it's when it just starts to have a little sprout and a little root so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to color this in All right and i'm going to draw an arrow because from the seed starts as the seed and it goes into germinate now after it germinates and starts having a little sprout then it's going to go into you're going to see from that lots and lots of roots start to grow and even a little stem starts to grow from the seed. So you have the little stem and I'm gonna write roots and and I'm going to start to color the seed green because the seed is starting to, and the, the um, stem is kind of green and it's kind of sprouting some little leaves, but we'll get to that. All right, so after it germinates, it's going to go into the roots in the stem. Now, after the roots and the stem start to come, it then sprouts into what we call a small plant. So when it comes into a small plant or a sprout, it kind of the leaves start to come, it starts to grow taller and stronger, and those roots really start to go down into that soil. I'm going to color the leaves in the stem green, and I'm going to call this the small plant. You could also call it the sprout. All right. Now, after the small plant, 
we grow into an adult plant. And the adult plant has a really strong stem with leaves. It's got really strong roots and it's got lots of leaves coming off of it. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take my green marker or crayon, I'm gonna color it. And I'm gonna call this the adult plant. Now, the adult plant is very close and that's usually when it's done, but I'm gonna add one more step because when it grows, after when it starts, it continues to grow, um, the adult plant will also grow a flower. So I just wanted to kind of draw this out so that you could really see the flower because once the flower starts to grow, um, that is when seeds can fall back off and those seeds kind of start the life cycle all over again. So once it grows that flower, then it pollinates um, and the full grown plant will produce flowers and then it will pollinate and then the flowers will make more seeds and then little animals can come and they will carry the seeds around and then that will cause the whole life cycle to go again. Now, do you remember what these, this seed needs to grow? That's right, one of the things it needs is water. So I'm gonna just remind myself that these plants need water. You remember what else they need? That's right, they also need sun or light, but I'm gonna use the sun. I'm gonna put that sun right in the middle. Very nice. And then there's one more thing. That's right, soil. It needs space and it needs soil. So I'm gonna make sure that these seeds have that soil. And remember these roots kind of grow under the ground and these should be in some nice rich soil. All right, and very nice. So let's go through it really quick. All right, so the plant life cycle starts as a seed in the nice soil. When it gets water and light, it starts to germinate. And that means the roots in the little sprout starts to come out. That's when it first starts. And then the roots in the stem really start to grow. The roots go down into the ground. The stem starts to sprout, which sprouts into our small plant. Our small plant is just a little sprout, a little seedling um, with a few leaves. And then it starts to grow into an adult plant that is strong, has good roots, nice stem to bring the water up from the ground and then eventually that adult plant will also have a flower. You could say that these two kind of go together but I just like to show it and then that flower will start to pollinate and then the animals will take the seeds maybe even if it was a tree like an apple tree those seeds from the apples will be carried somewhere else and they will grow um, and then the whole life cycle starts over so after that flower they will drop a seed and then the seed will do it all over again. All right, guys, be sure to go ahead and go do that life cycle worksheet when you are done. Bye guys.